All right, what's good YouTube? It's Shin, and today I'm coming to you from the iconic Caesars Palace where we're going to the newly opened Peter Luger for a meal. Now, this has been my most anticipated restaurant opening of the entire year, so I'm super excited to check it out. Let's head on inside. All right, everyone, so here we are seated at the Peter Luger Steakhouse, incredibly beautiful restaurant here. You have the wooden floors and the leather upholstery providing a very classic feel. Along with the bridge archways up top in the ceilings, this is very reminiscent of their Brooklyn location. I really like the vibe. Now, my little sister attended NYU and I have family in New York, so for a while there, I was visiting the New York area for Christmas every single year. And one year, I did go to the original Peter Luger over in Brooklyn, and at the time, I thought it was the greatest steak I'd ever had in my entire life. However, my palate has certainly evolved since then, and I'm super excited to see how the new Peter Luger here holds up. Let's go and take a look at what they've got to eat here, starting with the drink menu. Now, here's your cocktail menu at Peter Luger. Let's go and take a look inside. Nice leather bound. Very cool feeling inside here. Go ahead and take a pause in the video if you would like to take a look for your favorite drink. Here are your cocktails. Very nice. Cocktail list continued here. All of your favorites. Looks like the Great Neck Iced Tea is their uh, signature. Now here are your draft beers, bottled and non-alcoholic as well. Now these menus are brand new, so they're not exactly holding out very well here. Uh, very crispy paper. Bottled beers as well as your crafts for imports. Yep, very nice. Wine by the glass, white and rosés, your reds and your sweets. Here are your spirits and your gin. And the list keeps going here, you guys. Here are your spirits as well as your tequila list. Oh boy, this is uh, very hard to hold open. Here's your tequila list. <laughs> All right, keep it going here. Here are your spirits and your bourbons as well. Looks like we're getting toward the end of the menu here. Spirits, here's your rye, your whiskeys and your blended scotches. Your single malt scotch. As well as your Japanese whiskey down here. All right, here is your brandy and cognac. The list continues down here. All right, and lastly, here is a liqueur list. As well as your non-alcoholics on the back here. Yeah, very nice. Nice leather-bound menu here. Now that's a pretty good-looking cocktail menu. Let's go ahead and see what they've got to eat next. All righty, and here is your menu at Peter Luger. They've been open for over a century. Very exciting, let's see what they've got to eat. Here are your appetizers. You've got sliced tomatoes and onions with Peter Luger's own sauce. That's very popular here. Your crab cakes, your salads, and your uh, cold seafood. A shellfish tower is a new addition to he the location here at uh, Caesars Palace. That looks pretty interesting. And then here's what they're obviously famous for. You've got USDA prime beef, family selected, uh, family selected dry aged steaks. I was told that these are dry aged on premises right underneath us. This is all looking really good. Here are your lunch specials. You've got a Luger burger as well as a steak sandwich. Now we did come for lunch today, so we will be able to go in on that. However, I was told the steak sandwich is not available today, which is a little unfortunate, but you know, we might come back for that sometime in the future. And then here are your entrees. Looks like a broiled chicken, some lamb, salmon, and lobster and the like, as well as your side vegetables here. Yeah, this is all looking really good. A very classic steakhouse menu with all the things that you're looking for, and I'm really excited to get this order in. And you know how it goes in my videos. Every restaurant's a buffet if you're willing to pay, so I'll see you in a little bit when our appetizers arrive. All right, everyone, now like all classic great steakhouses, we did get some complimentary bread to start and this bread basket is looking really good. Let me go ahead and give you a view. Looks like we have some onion loaves as well as some breadsticks 
and some soft rolls underneath. I don't want to fill up too much on the bread, but this is looking really good. Let's give it a try. I think the breadstick looks most enticing to me, so I'm gonna go in and get a little bit of butter here and apply it. Nice little spread of butter there. Let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, that's very tasty. Nice texture on the bread. It's crusty on the outside while very pillowy on the inside. And of course the butter certainly adds a nice amount of richness. It is a nice way to start the meal. I like the bread. All right, everyone. Now while we were enjoying that bread, our first section of the appetizers arrived. This is looking really good. Let me give you a view. Now this is their famous thick cut bacon as well as their tomatoes and onions with the Peter Luger sauce. And this is looking incredible. I could not wait to give it a try. All right, first up, let's try this thick cut smoked bacon. Now this is ultra thick, super smoky looking. I'm really looking forward to this. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's very tasty. Super thick cut bacon here. It's incredibly meaty. It's not super salty either, which really lets you appreciate the flavor of the pork. I like that a lot. It has an incredibly smoky flavor that's really appetizing. And in general, just a very good piece of thick cut pork belly there. I like that. Now the onions and tomatoes, I'm told, are not a gimmick. If you eat them together along with the bacon and that Peter Luger sauce, it's supposed to be a very robust flavor. Let's go ahead and assemble and see if it holds up. Nice forkful here of that tomato, the onion, as well as that bacon, dipped into a little bit of that Peter Luger sauce. Let's give it a shot. Oh wow, that's actually very tasty. These have to be some of the sweetest onions I've ever had. These are Spanish white onions providing a really nice flavor. The tomatoes are also incredibly robust. They're super thick cut, well seasoned, and they provide a really great sweetness. It's actually very reminiscent of biting into a nice juicy burger when the vegetables are super crisp and fresh. I'm not gonna lie, I was actually very skeptical when they just had tomatoes and onions on the menu, but they actually go together very well. And the sauce at the end definitely binds all those flavors together. That's a very flavorful combination. I'm definitely a fan of that. Now, seeing as how it's a new addition to the Las Vegas location of Peter Luger, I had to try that shellfish tower. It just got here. Let me give you a view. Now, the shellfish tower comes with jumbo shrimp and oysters, king crab legs, and lobster as well. This is all looking fantastic. Time to give it a try. All right, first up from this shellfish tower is gonna be the lobster. Now the shellfish tower for one comes with a half tail of lobster here. And this came out of the shell so cleanly. Definitely looking forward to this. Mm. Oh yeah, that lobster is very good. Beautiful texture, it's really firm lobster meat here. The natural sweetness of the lobster is very prevalent here. And it's been a while since I've had a nice chilled lobster tail like this, this is really good. All right, next up, let's try this king crab leg. Really big king crab leg here. And such a clean extraction from the shell. This is looking really good, let's give it a taste. Mm. Oh yeah, that is fantastic. Super meaty and the sweetness of that crab meat cannot be understated. Incredibly delicious and it tastes super fresh. A beautiful crab flavor here. I definitely really appreciate it when a king crab leg has this kind of flavor and this perfect of a texture. It's really good. I will say one thing that I do find a miss with the seafood tower is that there's no clarified butter or maybe like a mustard sauce here that would really go well with this king crab leg, but certainly not a big enough deterrent for me to enjoy. All right, next up on the shellfish tower is this colossal shrimp. This is legitimately one of the biggest shrimp I've ever held. It's been perfectly cleaned and deveined. And I mean, this thing is just massive. Let's go and give it a taste. Hmm. You know, unfortunately, I'd say that's just okay. It's really plump and really succulent. However, I would say the shrimp flavor is relatively muted. I actually don't get a lot of that nice deep shrimpy flavor, but the satisfaction of that meaty chew is nice. Let's apply a little bit of this cocktail sauce and we see how this tastes. Mm. Oh yeah, that cocktail sauce certainly helps. A lot more kick than I'm typically used to in a cocktail sauce, it's really spicy. Certainly because of how muted that shrimp flavor was, I think that cocktail sauce definitely sets it off with another dimension, it kind of needs it. Alrighty, and the last appetizer to try today is gonna be one of the oysters. I'm gonna get a little mignonette on this, and the shell is super cold, which is a good sign. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. 
Yeah, that's a nice oyster right there. The oysters are plump with a nice springy texture. Very briny in flavor. I appreciate how fresh they are. The mignonette is nice and sour and provides a little bit of a fresh edge. I have no complaints. Those are good oysters right there. All right, everyone, that's the appetizer round here at Peter Luger, and I'm very impressed so far. Now I'm being joined today by my sister and my brother-in-law, so we're gonna continue working on these appetizers, and I'll see you in a little bit when our first round of entrees arrive. All right, everyone, our first round of entrees are here. This is looking really good. Let me show you what we have. Now we went ahead and got the steak for one, as well as that Peter Luger burger. The cream spinach is here, as well as that broiled chicken. This is all looking really good. Time to give it a taste. Now our first steak was delivered piping hot with sizzling butter on the plate. And we didn't want anything to overcook in that sizzling butter, so it was served out immediately. We got the steak cooked medium rare today. It certainly looks cooked to temperature. Nice color on this. I am so pumped for this. It's time to give it a try. Yeah, that's a very nice steak. Definitely got some prime beef here. The center is very tender. It's soft, it's pink, and it does impart a nice beef flavor. Finishing butter applied here provides such an additional richness that's really permeated throughout the rest of the steak. Now, I love the sear on the outside of the steak. At first glance, it almost looks a little extra done on the outside. However, it does provide a nice charred flavor. It's tender, it's rich, it's flavorful. It's a very simple recipe, but executed at a master's level. They say you don't really have to mess with the classics, and I definitely believe that here. It's really good. All right, next up, trying the spinach. And it has a nice vibrant green color. Let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Super soft and really creamy. I absolutely love the texture of the cream spinach here. Really well seasoned. It's actually a very nice salty flavor. It's not overly sauce. You really still get that nice spinach flavor. Well done, I have no complaints. Alrighty, next up, let's try the Luger Burger. Now this is only available for lunch hours up till 4 p.m. It comes with a raw onion, super chunky burger here. I got a cooked medium today. Let's see how it is. Mm. That is a very tasty burger. Great quality beef here. It's really meaty and very fatty. They've developed a really nice crust on the exterior of the burger and it's well seasoned as well. I wouldn't say the bun is anything particularly special, but it is soft and holds up well to the weight of the burger. Now, originally when I ordered this, I was a little skeptical of that single raw onion in the center. However, having it in the appetizer, I knew it was gonna provide a really great sweetness and it does. The sweet flavors of the onion are really cutting through a lot of that richness, providing a really nice balance. This is actually a really fantastic burger. I like it a lot. All right, and the last bite to try from our first round of entrees is gonna be the broiled chicken. For those of you at home who are not red meat eaters, I wanted to try the chicken as well to make sure that it was up to par. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. The chicken is actually very well cooked. It's still moist in the center with the really tender meat. I certainly appreciate how juicy this chicken is. Now that's it. I will say the chicken is a little bland. I think it's a little under seasoned. I'm pretty sure this chicken has not been brined. It's interesting because of how juicy the chicken is. I thought it would have a little bit more of a briny flavor in the center. But overall, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of this chicken. It's just okay. Hopefully you're a red meat eater when you come to Peter Luger. All right, everyone. And that's the first round of entrees. And we're really enjoying this meal. It's very delicious. We're going to continue working on this and then pack up a bit to go because we've got another round of entrees coming. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. And our next round of entrees are here. And this is looking incredible. Let me go and give you a view. We went ahead and got the rib steak for one as well as their salmon. I also got their lobster entree as well as their German fried potatoes. You would not believe the smell coming off of this. I cannot wait to give it a try. All right. First up, the rib steak. Now the standard steak is typically pulling from a New York strip and the rib steak is obviously then pulling from the ribeye and the ribeye is my go-to steak. So I'm super pumped for this one. That is excellent. This steak is incredibly flavorful. It's really fatty being that it's a rib steak and it's so tender. Again, the sear here on the steaks is just perfection. I absolutely love the crust that they've been able to develop on these steaks. Provide such a beautiful char flavor and a really nice texture. The rib steak definitely tastes more seasoned than the standard steak as well, providing a much more robust flavor. Classically prepared, masterfully executed. I'm a huge fan of the steak so far. All right, next up, let's try the Luger German fried potatoes. Now my server let me know that this is the most popular side here at Peter Luger. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that is a very tasty potato side. Nice and soft in the center, and have a perfect cook. They've been able to develop some kind of a crust on top from a bake. That gives it a little bit of an extra texture. The onions that are cooked in here provide a nice bit of sweetness and the overall seasoning is beautiful. Nice salt and pepper levels here, and you also get some really nice garlic hits. I'm definitely a fan, I like these potatoes. All right, next up, the salmon. This looks super flaky, and it certainly has a nice glistening shine on top. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, I actually really like the salmon. It has a beautiful flaky texture and it's really moist. Nice firm flesh here that's imparting a really mild flavor. The seasoning applied is absolute perfection. Simple but generous. And it really does stick to the theme here at Peter Luger. Simple recipes with masterful execution. I actually really like the salmon here. All right, everyone, and the last entree to try today is gonna be the lobster. Now, this is a pound and a half main lobster that's been prepared for us. Looks like a light breading on the top here. Let's make sure we dip it into this clarified butter that's available, and we give it a try. Yeah, you know what, that's fine. The lobster meat here is tender and does impart a bit more of a lobster flavor than even that lobster tail I had from the shellfish tower. The breadcrumbs applied to the top are well seasoned. You certainly get the salt, the pepper, the onion powder here, and it actually does complement the flavor of the lobster well. The butter certainly provides a nice amount of richness to the bite. It's certainly good. I don't have any real complaints about it, but I just in general enjoyed the steaks much more. Now you're coming to Peter Luger for steaks. I tried a lot of the non-steak options. Salmon is fantastic. The lobster is good, and I would 100% just pass on the chicken. Now it's not bad by any means, but I think for the money I paid for this lobster, I'd definitely just go in on some more steak. All right, everyone, and that's all of the entrees we're gonna be trying today. We're gonna take a couple more bites and then pack up the rest to go because we are definitely getting stuffed here. I think we're gonna take a look at some desserts. Don't go anywhere, because sweets are coming up next. All right, everyone, and the meal's been fantastic so far, but we are so stuffed. It's definitely time to look at some sweets. Let's see what they got for dessert. Now here's the Peter Luger dessert menu. Looks at the top, some uh, cheesecake, apple strudel, that sounds really good, pecan pie. Looks like the holy cow hot fudge sundae is the special. I think I might actually get a cappuccino today. I am feeling a little under from all of that richness. Uh, and some after, drink, after dinner drinks as well. Very nice. All of those are looking really good. I think I might try a couple of desserts today because my sister and brother-in-law are here with me. For you all at home, let me make those appear right now. All right, everyone, and the desserts are here. Let me go ahead and give you a view. We went ahead and got that holy cow hot fudge sundae as well as an apple strudel. And they also went by to each of our plates to drop off some whipped cream, what they call schlag. This is all looking really good. Let's give it a try. All righty, first up, the holy cow hot fudge sundae. This is a nice big triple scoop sundae with hot fudge and walnuts. Let's give it a try. Mm. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Really creamy vanilla ice cream here with a really rich hot fudge. The pecans add a nice earthy nuttiness, but I gotta say, their schlag is really good. It's an ultra heavy whipped cream. It has a ton of body while still being airy. I actually really like that. Alrighty folks, and the last item I'm gonna be trying today is the apple strudel. Went ahead and applied some of their schlag on top of this. And this is looking really good. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Oh yeah, that's really tasty. Again, that schlag is fantastic. Really thick and very nice. The apple strudel is actually incredibly flavorful. The flavor of the apple here is actually very pronounced. You get a lot of that natural sweetness and the cinnamon sugar that's applied here provides a nice woodsy note. And the powdered sugar and caramel here provide an additional layer of sweetness. This is a very good dessert. I like it a lot. All right, everyone. And that does it for our opening day meal here at Peter Luger. This was my most anticipated restaurant opening of the entire year, and it definitely lived up to the expectations. Now, our meal came out to about $720 today before tip, although not shown in the video was roughly $60 or $70 worth of beverages like Pepsis and cappuccinos. Now, I genuinely love the steaks here. While I wouldn't say they're head and shoulders above all the other premium cuts here in Las Vegas, they are expertly prepared with a very simple recipe, which is what I adore. Now, while the steaks may not be head and shoulders better than anything else here in Las Vegas, I will say I had the most impact service, quite possibly the best service I've had in my entire life at a restaurant. I think I'd personally skip on the shellfish tower next time, though the bacon appetizer along with those tomatoes and onions with the Peter Luger sauce is surprisingly good. The chicken was definitely lackluster today, while the salmon and the lobster were actually quite good. Now, I personally preferred the rib steaks over the New York strip cuts, but both were very delicious. Myself, my sister, and my brother-in-law, we really enjoyed our meal. All right, everyone, now while I enjoyed coming out to the opening of Peter Luger, I didn't enjoy driving on the strip today. It's still pretty packed out there, so I I think I'm gonna be trying out another off-strip restaurant next week. I thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye.